Hello everybody, welcome to the Create and Learn channel, where we make magic with technology. Today, we'll be making... a domino game. So here we are in the Unity Hub. This is our starting place whenever we want to make a new Unity project. Now the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have a Unity editor installed. To do this, go over to the Installs tab, and just make sure you have something here. If you don't, go up to the blue Install Editor button, click on it, and install one of these long-term support versions. Now I'm going to be using the most recent one as of the recording of this video, but whatever version you have should be good as long as you're using one of the LTS versions. Once you have that installed, come over to the Projects tab, click on the blue New Project button, make sure that we have a 3D project selected, and give our project a name. I'm going to call mine Domino. Then, just click on the blue Create Project button, and Unity will start to put together our project folder and open the Unity Editor. Now this takes a moment, so you'll have to be patient, but once it's done, I'll come back to you and we'll get started. Now that the Unity Editor is up, let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the interface. On the left side, we have the hierarchy. This shows us all of the objects in our scene. A scene is like a level in Unity. Right now, our scene has a camera and a light. Along the bottom, we have the Project tab. This shows us all of the files related to our project. On the right side, we have the Inspector. This shows us details about the object that we have selected in our scene. So for example, if I click on Main Camera, we can see details about the main camera. And then in the middle, we have our Scene View. That shows us our scene in 3D space. You'll notice our toolbar here. If you're on an older version of Unity, your toolbar may be on the top left, but the buttons all do the same thing. We also have a Game tab that shows us what our game will look like when it's running. I'm going to switch back over to the Scene tab for now. And at the top, we have our Play and Pause buttons. If we click on that Play button, Unity will run our game. And then to stop it, we can click on that Play button one more time. Now, first things first, we need to add a platform on which our dominoes can sit. So, let's come over to the hierarchy over here. Let's right-click in some blank space or control-click if you're on a Mac. Let's go down to 3D Object, and then click on Cube. And poof, we have a cube in our scene, ready for us to reposition, rotate, and scale. It's a little far away, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I can do this by scrolling my mouse wheel. Or if you don't have a mouse wheel, you can hold the Alt button or the Option key on Mac, and hold right-click down, and scroll in and out that way. Let's click back on our cube in the hierarchy. And over here in the inspector, we can see information about our cube. Now let's change a few things. First of all, it's just called cube. Let's rename it to platform. Just below that, we have the transform component, and that tracks our cube's position, rotation, and scale. Now we can change these by typing numbers into these boxes. So if I type in a two in the X box, you'll notice that the cube jumps two units on that X horizontal axis. Y is our vertical axis. Z is our depth axis. Let's reset all of these to zero. We can also click on any of these letters and click and drag them around for a different way to manipulate them. Set that back to zero again. Rotation, as you might guess, rotates our cube around. Let's set those back to zero. And scale allows us to change the size of it. Here's where we can take it from being a cube to being more like a platform. Let's try X of 10 and you can see it's now 10 units long. Let's try Y of 0.5, now it's half a unit tall. And let's try Z of five, now it's five units deep. And there we have it. Let's scroll out a little bit with my mouse wheel. I can also click my mouse wheel in to drag around the scene. Now we have a platform for our dominoes. Next up, well, we need to create a domino. So back over to our hierarchy, right click on some empty space, control click if you're on a Mac, Come down to 3D Object, create another cube. 
Let's rename it in the inspector. Let's call it a domino. Let's make sure that our position is right in the middle of our scene for now. So zero, zero, and zero. That's called the origin, and we generally want to make things in relation to the origin of the world, the zero, zero, zero point of the world. And to make this look more like a domino, we can again adjust the scale values. So, for example, we can make our domino 0 0.5 units thick. We can make it 5 units tall. Maybe we make it 2.5 units deep. Good so far, but our domino is kind of sitting in the middle of our platform. So, let's move it up. Now, we could change our position here, and this is a perfectly reasonable way to do it. Maybe I bump it up by 3 units on the y-axis. And there we go. Alternatively, we can use our tools here, specifically the move tool, to grab any of these green, red, or blue handles and drag it around the world that way. Whatever way works best for you. Now, if we click on play, not a whole lot happening here. And that's because nothing in our world has physics yet. So let's change that. I'm going to click on play again to stop it from running. And we're going to add physics to our domino. Now to do this, we need to add a component. Components give objects behavior, so transform gives it a position in the world. Box Collider, for example, allows it to collide with other objects. To add physics to our domino, we need to add this component here, a rigid body. Be careful that you're not adding a rigid body 2D. We need a three-dimensional rigid body for our three-dimensional object. Click on that, and now when we click play, our domino falls down to the platform. Let's create some more dominoes. To do this, we can come over to our domino here, right-click on it, and click on Duplicate. Now, it doesn't look like anything happened, but there are actually two dominoes stacked right on top of each other here. So if we, using our Move tool, click and drag this domino over, you can see that we do in fact have more than one domino. I'm going to switch to two-dimensional view just to make my life a little bit easier in terms of picturing how these dominoes are lining up. We can do this by clicking on this 2D button here. If you're on an older version of Unity, 2D might be somewhere over here, but the button does the same thing on any version. We click on 2D and zoom. We are now looking at a 2D representation of our world. From here, we can create more dominoes by simply duplicating them and moving them around. So if I click on my domino here, right click, duplicate, make sure we're on the move tool, and we can move it over. Now we have three dominoes. We can also duplicate by hitting Control D on the keyboard or Command D if you're on a Mac. So Control D, and now we have a fourth domino. So here's a challenge for you. Be as creative as you can. Create a big, long domino chain that we're going to knock them all over when we're ready to go. Try using dominoes of different sizes and shapes. You can copy what I'm doing here, but I really recommend that you be creative and create your own domino chain. It's more fun that way. I'm going to create mine, and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. So there we have it, a whole bunch of dominoes all stacked up and ready to be knocked over. Let's go ahead and tip one over to get that reaction going. Let's click on our first domino here. You'll notice that I can select things in my scene by clicking on them in the scene view, as well as clicking on them in the hierarchy. And let's tip this domino over by using the rotate tool. That's this tool right here. Again, it might be in the top left if you're on an older version. And let's click and drag this to tip it over about 15 degrees. How do I know it's 15 degrees? Well, if I look in my inspector, I can see that the Z axis has been rotated about 15 degrees. Now, when I hit play, we can see our dominoes start falling. But we have some problems here. The first problem is we can't see all of our dominoes yet. We need to adjust our camera so that we can see everything. If we click on the main camera, we get a little preview in the bottom right of what our game's going to look like when we click play. But we want to be able to see everything all at once. So, to do this, all we need to do, with the main camera selected, 
with our scene framed the way we'd like it to be in our scene view, come up to Game Object, and come down to Align with View. And poof, now when we run our game, we can see all of our dominoes all stacked up nice and neatly. Now, here's the other problem that we'll have, and I'll bet you have this problem too. Well, our domino chain kind of stopped right there, didn't it? This is the debugging stage. We have our idea, we've implemented our idea, and now we need to fix the one or two little glitches that we have. In this case, all we need to do is move some things around, maybe adjust their size a little bit. So I'm going to make those changes to mine, make whatever changes you need to make to yours by moving some dominoes around, changing their size, changing their shape maybe. And as you go, don't forget to hit the play button every now and then to see how things are going. So for mine, this domino didn't want to fall, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and I'll use the move tool to move it over a little bit. And now when I hit play, and we wait, we can see, hey, now my domino is falling just like it's supposed to. And with that one little bug fix, we're done. We now have a domino chain that will fall over all on its own. This is the power of Unity. With its built-in physics, we can very quickly create very complex interactions with just a few minutes of effort. Now, I encourage you to continue exploring this, add more dominoes, make it more complicated, really exercise your creativity. And if you're looking for more ways to do that, Create and Learn has a ton of ways to keep growing with your creativity with free coding classes on our website at create-learn.us. We also have an introductory Unity course for just $15 that helps you install and activate the Unity software, and then you'll also finish a simple self-paced tutorial to create a cool interactive experience. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you next time!